Hello everyone, I'm Jake Koenig with Pheasants Forever and thanks for joining us on today's Habitat Talk. Today we're going to be discussing on how to control invasive cool season grass, specifically smooth brome, with chemical control. So here you can see the limited bare ground, um, limited diversity that this smooth brome is just encroaching. You're seeing some native forbs come up here but uh, getting pretty choked out. Uh, so controlling this is ultimately just going to increase your heterogeneity and your habitat structure. Now, in order to effectively control smooth brome, site prep and timing are key. As you can see, this field has not been prepped to be chemically treated this fall for smooth brome control. Uh, typically, we recommend the cover's been removed in some sort of fashion, whether that's fire, hang, grazing, etc. Um, the timing is important on spraying smooth brome. We typically recommend after the first hard freeze, uh, which is typically known as 28 degrees or lower for a few hours. Um, and what that does is we ensure that all of our native warm season grasses and forbs are dormant at that time. And a lot of the smooth brome is sucking in the nutrients. So it should be able to suck up that chemical and get a very successful kill at that time. We encourage, if you're going to do site preparation, not to do it any later than mid-August, and that allows you to have adequate regrowth. Uh, typically, we recommend four to six inches of regrowth on that brome before it's sprayed. Another common question we get asked is, what do I spray smooth brome with? And there's a few different chemicals you can use, but most commonly, we use a full rate of glyphosate. And I encourage you to get with your local chemical rep to see exactly what a full rate might be considered. Um, here in eastern Nebraska, we consider it at about two quarts per acre, and we mix that a lot of times with a surfactant, crop oil, or something of that nature, so we get uh, that chemical to stick very well. Uh, but always follow your chemical label directions. At the end of the day, there's multiple ways you can control smooth brome on your property, but those methods used in conjunction with a chemical application are typically the most successful. If you're interested in using a chemical control application on your property, please get a hold of your local Pheasants Forever biologist to have them come out and take a look. Otherwise, thanks for joining us on today's Habitat Talk.